after the failed attack by the hired mercenaries by the King of France, he has decided to attack the Temple of Orleans and change his focus from the Temple of France to the Temple of Orleans and weaken the Templars on all fronts. And luckily for him, there has been a papal election with the, pope, the old Pope dying and a new one uh, being put in place. And this one is the first of the Avignon Popes, loyal to only one king, the King of France. As a mere puppet, he lives in Avignon and listens to what the king wills and has sent an army to aid the king in his uh, aims of taking the gold from the Templars and ridding Europe of this army and holiest of holy orders. Can the Temple of Orleans do the same as their brothers in Paris and hold back the French king and his allies? Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and I hope you enjoyed that little recap on part 3. So yes, now the Papal States have joined the offensive against the Templars. The Pope in Avignon, a puppet of the French King, has sent his forces and ordained there is holy and righteous to attack this holiest of holy orders. So the Papal States and the Kingdom of France are now besieging the Temple of Orleans. Um, the Temple, if you didn't know, is like uh, just a fortress for um, the Templars. It's basically where they keep their... Like their it's like their place of worship. It's a fortress. It's where they hold their money. Um, so yeah, we have a 2v2. We have, uh, obviously, the Kingdom of Jerusalem. And we have also, have this time, the Kingdom of Antioch. Um, because they have some pretty cool units. They've got like Templar crossbows. They've got... Uh, Templar sergeants, they've got hospital sergeants, dismounted crusaders, knights. We've got a lot of different units this time, and I'll uh, make sure to show you guys them. Um, but yeah, so we've got a lot of different units this time to uh, mix it up. And we've got obviously the usual Templars and Hospitalers over here for Jerusalem. And we also have uh, the Papal States, which is here. They've got some of their heavy melee men at arms sort of units looking very excellent. And they're just about to land on the wall, so we will see what happens. So, as you can see, the balance power is massively not in our favour. We don't have uh, the uh, the numbers, and we don't have the quality either. And we don't we don't have. They have some tier two units, a few tier two units thrown in there, um, because this is like the sort of the overlapping period between the 14th and the uh, 13th century. This time period, so they've got a few like. A few uh, 14th century units in here, but anyway, so you can see here we have a unit of uh, men at arms. Well, heavy shock infantry units, not heavy shock, they're not heavy shock at all. They are like a men at arms sort of unit. Um, they are joining the battlefield and they're going to actually get down here and start fighting. So that is excellent. Again, some Crusader sergeants. I also have some Crusader marksmen all the way over here and firing. I was hoping that they'd shoot at the guys on the wall, uh, but they kept wanting to shoot these ones down here, so I was like, right, that's it, hold your fire. Because that's just not worth it. So yeah, it's a bit annoying as this angle trying to hit um, these guys down here. Because it's a big risk to my Crusade Sergeants. And, I mean, doing a good play good job as the Papal States and just getting his men off the wall and straight down here so they don't gather up on the top. He's also landing over here. He's trying to avoid my artillery. Um, so he started in this corner. Um, First negative for this is he's kind of boxing himself in. There's only two ways now he can come down. Well, obviously three if he comes down this way, but it's just really... I have to defend here and here, and that's it. I mean, I could I am defending here because I don't really want him to take the wall so easily. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what's going to happen. France, on the other hand, is uh, attacking on a fairly one long wall. Um, I wouldn't have necessarily attacked all these, put these all these guys here. I would have probably put some around this side. Um, but again, yeah, so the French player is making it a slightly easy uh, for the defender to attack. Oh, for the defender to attack. For the defender to defend. If the defender was attacking, that would ruin the entire purpose of, their, uh, of them being here. But yeah, so it looks like the sergeants are going down very soon. Not quite yet. 
But yeah, these sergeants I'm pretty sure are tier 2. Yeah, so these are tier 2 sergeants. These guys are nasty. Um, so, this is what I'm meaning. They've got a lot of tier 2 sort of stuff. Which is going to have uh, a lot of joy taking out a lot of our stuff. Um, he has actually managed to catch, get some of these uh, crossbows. So this is the first bit of engagement, actually. It's between some Templar crossbows and some sergeants. But I hope you guys are enjoying the... Uh, like this little uh, mini series that's going on at the moment. Oh, excellent. As like a Templar crossbow loses his head. If you are, then please do leave a like uh, and subscribe. It does help out the channel. And uh, leave a comment as well. If there's like, I don't know if there's a, what you think is going to happen in the next episode. You'll have to obviously watch to the end to see what happens. To have any idea of uh, what goes on. But you can always make your predictions. And who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for the Templars? Are you rooting for the King of France and his... Uh, papal ally. But yeah, so they are cutting down a lot of uh, Crusader marksmen and Templar crossbows there. That's a bit of a shame. Losing some key units there is Antioch. Um, but engagement now has happened over here as well. We now have an engagement down here on the uh, at the foot of the walls. We have some of the men-at-arms fighting some more Crusader spearmen. I imagine these men-at-arms are probably meant to these Crusader spearmen pretty well. I mean, they do have the help of the tower as the Crusaders, but it should uh, should be easy work. Swords versus spears, and these are not the greatest of spears compared to uh, the sword unit. We also have some arrows being shot up here um, by some more Crusader marksmen all the way back here, and they are trying to get this unit to focus it down. Not greatest angle, I mean, yeah. I mean, actually, this isn't an atrocious angle, but, like, you can see the firing up there uh, where my cursor is. It's just that they're awful shots. It's like a, they're one of the lowest tier units of archers we can bring. Um, so no surprise. We've only killed a massive three. And they're probably all killed by the archer tower, in fact. But yeah, we're doing our best to try and focus these guys down. The, the These are the only tier one units, I think, that... Uh, apart from some cavalry that I think the Papal States brought. So, which is probably a little bit too overpowered, so we can't really focus much down on oh, the catapult. The catapult's tier one. Um, but yeah, so we, we've we not got much we can actually focus down unless it gets really bloodied up in combat. But here we go. So some Templars are being mobilized already. Here they are, the famous Templars. And the idea is to... Uh, well, they're taking out this catapult unit, which is not really the end of the world since the catapult's not going to be able to be used. And the idea, oh, well, this Templar unit's going the wrong way, but we're going to send this spear unit up onto the wall and this Templar unit the other way. Oh, artillery! That was actually a pretty good shot, getting quite a lot of those uh, Crusader spearmen. But yeah, the idea is, oh, another really good one, and that one hit the Templars in behind, uh, getting a couple of the Templars. That was a really good hit. So, yeah, the idea is to get the spears up onto the wall and trap these guys on both sides and then use the archers to uh, then just focus down into the middle and uh, hopefully we can annihilate this unit pretty quickly so yes yeah, so now the combat is happening on the walls and we will see what happens the whole unit has been destroyed. here he comes He's, oh yeah here come the Templars up onto the wall not many of them can more of them get onto the walls, please? Oh, no, they're coming down. Okay, so it's like a mix of they're coming down and we're going up. And they've also got half a unit over here. So that can't be good. They must be, like, doing some... Uh, yeah, they're not They're not feeling so good. They're already down to 60 men. Let's watch this little fight that's on the walls with the remaining Templars. No, nope, they just keep running down the walls. They're like, no, we must escape the Templars. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so they're fighting down here now. They don't fancy the walls since they've seen the marksman, I think. And they've just like decided, no, that's not going to happen. So yes, that's happening uh, as it currently is. We've got a combat going on over here. Um, this is a bit worrying. The Crusader Spearmen are losing. Uh, Crusader Sergeants. I think they're getting support from these uh, archers. But you're actually not able... They're like, not got a good direct line of fire. We also have a unit here wavering. We've got another one already sent in, and we've got plenty of reserves. 
Got plenty of reserves. Ah, oh, a, a unit is broken. Oh, it is this uh, unit over here. Okay, so we have some... So they have actually taken this... Uh, taken this gate, in a way. Because my Hospitallers aren't quite in position. But excellent. Now we have some, some of the elite boys in here. Some of the elite boys. There is a lot of volleys coming in. I mean, I'm firing a lot of my uh, Crusader Marksmen into the rear because they're now, like, easy to hit. Oh, some good volleys there. Well, they're not easy to hit, but, you know, they're not, like, stuck to the wall. They are out off the wall a bit. But I bet there's some, still some friendly fire, but it's worth the risk. Break this unit quickly so uh, we can get back in position at that wall. But the Hospitalers are holding strong. So, yes. So, yeah, this is the... Uh, I think I mentioned this is the Temple of Orleans. Uh, the other... The, the other... Uh, uh, Templars that we've seen before are supposed to represent the Paris Temple. So... Which is kind of like the main focus of the series. But this is the Orleans Temple. We're kind of here seeing what happens as the uh, King makes a strike. After being frustrated with his uh, first attempt with the mercenaries failing. But look at that, we've got archers up here. This is a really good angle for these archers. Oh my gosh, yeah, these archers are doing a really good job. I'd be focusing down these Crusader Marksmen. Oh, that's a good hit though from the artillery there. That was a really good hit. But yeah, these, look at all these goddamn archers. Just focusing down there. But we've got, yeah, lots of Templar Spearmen in here. Holding against sergeants. So, tier 2 versus a tier 1. And the tier 2 also has archer support. I mean, so does the tier 1, but the tier 1's archer support is getting obliterated right now. Oh my gosh. That was a really good hit. But the tier 1 has won. Uh, has beaten the sergeants here. So, well done to them. They've now just got to endure a lot of archer ammo. Um, yeah, these archers appear on the wall and not dying that quickly. If I was... Um, Antioch now, I'll just be putting these men against the wall facing that way so the archers can't directly fire down. But they are actually breaking quite a few units. These sergeants are also breaking. They got, uh, yeah, they they couldn't have brought this unit because uh, it's tier 3. And that's kind of, that's very uh, era not represented. So we decided that instead of, uh, like, them not using the unit, they could uh, just bring as a dismounted unit. So we've got Gentiles here with dismounted um, what have we got over here? Oh yeah, we've got Hospitalers. This is one of the other unit units that um, I could show you. If I can get in front of them and actually show you, but I can't. We've got any more Hospitalers anywhere else? Oh yeah, here we go. I can show you these Hospitalers. So these are the same guys that are defending the gate. Very similar, but I mean, they just look... I think it's something about just the simple black and white. looks awesome. Like The Templar Sergeants look cool, um, but like black, red, and white... Not a fan. I'm just... The black and white is just perfect. But yeah, so we did break that unit and we forced our way back to uh, this choke point here. They're now trying to force us back again. They are using a lot of ammo as well. I'm trying to uh, get his forces back. They're also firing artillery in here. Which I'm quite fine with because he's risking a lot of his own men. And um, we're firing his artillery. But yeah, so... Oh, that was another hit there. I think that one... Oh, that one missed. Okay. I just heard a big thud. And we still have the Archer Tower supporting us. Oh, that's not a bad hit at all. It's kind of skims. And that was a better, that was a better hit. Um, but it's not really like, it's not a huge line. So like, all he's doing is taking out one or two guys. It's probably damaging the morale a lot. But we're also damaging their morale by just using fire arrows with the Archer Tower. And all it needs is one uh, bad shot. And there we go, that unit is breaking. One unit is broken. That was a pretty weak one. But yeah, he's hitting a lot of these buildings, which I'm kind of fine with as well. Yeah, look at that. I mean, this this whole area is now on fire, but that's not the end of the world, really. 
Yeah, this is becoming a bloody fight here. Um, pretty damn nasty. And at this point, we have our cavalry over here. We have Templar Knights. Plenty of Templar Knights. We have more of Antioch's Templar Knights. We have some Hospitallers. And we have some Mounted Sergeants. And they are coming round. And we are getting ready. And we're going to try and take out some of their archers. Maybe get their artillery. Because I was just getting a little bit annoyed at this point. Like, they're focusing down a lot of my units that I want to... Don't want really to die to artillery, like my Templars, my archers. Um, so I was like, right, we're going to have to deal with this. I don't know if we can get these archers, because I'm not really killing them with my own archers. And they're doing a lot of damage to like this hospital unit down here. Another volley coming in here. This one could be a good one. Yeah, that one was actually quite nice. Down to 105, and here we go. Some Templars going in. They're going to certainly hold back these men. And if he carries on focusing down these guys, that's fine. Yeah, he's risking his own men. I mean, in fairness, he's also not really risking mine. He's killing like one or two guys every every volley. So it's not not great, I'd say. But yeah, we're getting ready into position. We have more cavalry than the uh, Papal States, but theirs is Tier 2, uh, most of it. But yeah, there's some Tier 2. I think they've got three units on, of Tier 2 and one unit of Tier 1. Probably should have evened that out, made that uh, two of each. Because we only brought, I think we brought one tier one and four tier, no, one tier two and four tier ones. Um, mainly just because we wanted to bring Templars and Templars are uh, only tier one, sadly. But yeah, so we even if we uh, can't beat the cavalry, we can hold. Surely we can hopefully hold them all in check, and then get one of our units to still get around and do some damage. They have some halberdiers here as well, um, which obviously are tier two. <laughs> There's so much tier 2 stuff, it's probably a little bit too much. Um, yes, yeah, so, but we're still we're breaking all this stuff anyway, quite happily. We've got uh, some shock infantry now joining the fight. That's fine with me. Um, he's got some archers up here getting ready. So he's uh, slowly trying to force his way around. And my uh, sergeants here are quite happily just going to, well, fight what's remaining of these guys. There's hardly any of these shock infantry are getting down the wall. So I'm... I'm just getting my uh, Templars. I don't even know what the Templars are doing. They're trying to take out what... It's oh, God, look at that. So much friendly fire. There was so much more friendly fire there than there was on oh my guys. I think there's like a tiny few men up there for me. He hit a lot of his own men. Um, but, yeah, so the cavalry charge has begun. I did miss the initial clash. I do apologize. Um, but, yeah, we're not doing so well. We're not doing so hot. But he's got the, uh, we've got our most elite unit around. And he's going to charge into the general. Um, so he did pull out his general in time. We sent two units into here, which was a bit of a mistake. Should have only sent one. But, I mean, you can already see, look at that. Tier 2 will just instantly just wreck that tier 1. Uh, so, probably the reason why they shouldn't really have brought tier 2 cavalry. I mean, certainly not the Papal States. It's not really renowned for its cavalry. Um... Probably should have just brought tier 1, just to make it a little bit more fair. But uh, it doesn't really matter. We now have the Hospitallers engaging the General. This is the only chance. This is the tier 2 unit. If he can take out the General, which I think it's losing ever so slightly. But they're going to get numbers in here in time. I mean, they also have the Halberdiers, which helped massively in that co in that combat. Um, but yeah, you can see these uh, Templars are just going to chase down these... Uh, well, these these are uh, the sergeants, I think. Oh no, these are the Templar knights. I think the sergeants are already dead. Yep, they're about to die anyway. Poor sergeants. Yeah, these poor guys. So it wasn't really worth the charge. I don't think worth cavalry uh, effort. I mean, it might have been better to keep them inside or go for France. France had less cavalry. Um, but. We did position them, start positioning them around there. Franz is trying to bring in his cavalry around. I don't think it's going to be needed. Um, not at all. This cavalry's already been dealt with. Um, but the main concern is that, like, I don't actually know why we really did this. Um, because the cavalry can't get inside. So, it was pretty useless anyway. We didn't really need to go and, like, engage it. Like, the cavalry, we still hold the gate. We still hold both gates, I think. So, the attackers really need to, need to push. I think that's obviously they have been. They've been massively trying to push to take this gate. I've been like 
I'm trying to deny them take this gate as much as possible. I mean, this is some great fire now. The Templars are holding them back. We've got Crusader Marksmen here. Um, you can see here they're going to... I mean, the other unit's going to do exactly the same. It's just getting in front, and it's going to do exactly the same. And look at this. It's just going to go into the side of that unit there. And that is nasty. So the Templars are getting a real help in their uh, assault here. So no wonder this... Uh, Tier 2 unit is getting beaten up by Templars. I mean, the Templars do have a silver chevron because they're supposed to be elite, the only elite units, like here. But um, even still, I think these guys were outmatched by the Tier 2. When I was playing it live, um, they were still outmatched. And they've been sh being shot at by artillery for the entire battle. <laughs> oh dear, so the, I think a Templar Knight is going to try and get back in. Look at that. I think they actually might achieve it as well. Uh, so at this point, I was like, right, let's see if we can kill a few of these cavalry. Um, so I was just trying to, going to shoot some of his uh, men as they as they got close. I mean, luckily they're do getting shot anyway by uh, arch towers as well. But yeah, so yeah, here we go. A few volleys coming out. And I was like, right, let's hit some of these uh, these cavalry. But I don't think I killed a single cavalryman in that volley. Shows how beefy that cavalry is and how awful my archers are. But they've actually pushed us back from this choke point again and uh, a lot more substantially. It's a different unit of t uh, Hospitalis, I believe. I think this one is a, a new fresh one. The other one died at that uh, entrance. They are slowly pushing us back here. They've got more archers onto the wall, uh, so that's a bit of a concern. Over here, I think Francis almost spent. He's got everything inside and he's got... Yeah, everything's like here for France, and everything for Antioch is also here. Um, it's very close in numbers. There's only about 200 man difference. Balance power is still massively in favor of the attackers because they've got the quality. We just have the numbers at the moment, but even then, like, our units could break at any moment, I think, because, well, certainly Antioch, because he's just got spears. And they're not great spears. Like, Templar sergeants don't have great morale. Um, I don't know about hospital sergeants, they're probably very similar. I mean, yeah, look at these dismounted uh, Chevaliers. They are pretty nasty. But I think the massive help for us has been, so far, these Arch Towers. I can still see, like, a couple of fire arrows coming in. Look at the amount of Templar Sergeants just waiting. They're not going to break through here. There is far too many. They need some artillery or something. I think the French army's spent. I think it is spent. I mean, they've got some cavalry up here that's dismounted now. Some gendarmes. Not a bad idea. It could probably take out this Templar crossbow stuff. And it might capture this um, this tower. Or these towers. But it's a real risk. Um, over here, kind of the same. They are slowly actually capturing this tower here. We've got a new unit of Spadaccini coming in, trying to fight, face down these Templars. But um, I am actually running out of stuff uh, over my side. I've literally got a couple of units of swords, and that is it. Actually, uh, yeah, I've got a couple of units of swords, I'd say. This unit's going to get focused down, and I think it might. it's not got long left in it. It's already been, like, shot at and fought at here. And we've got uh, shock infantry coming in. We've got halberds. But yeah, I mean, they're running out of stuff as well. I'd say that the attackers are in for a rough ride. I mean, balance power is still strangely in their favor. Probably because of the cavalry. Um, cavalry is still a massive effect. And it still would be. They could actually, if they could capture a gate, then that balance power actually might be right. But for now, it's going to be probably even, I'd say. Because they have halberds, we don't. And that's kind of crucial. I'm also running out of ammo, and I think certainly the Papal States has ammo left. I think France has used all his archers up. But here we go. I think... Oh, right, no. I thought the gates had been captured and they were being opened. But no, it's just some unit breaking. And they're just getting murdered by oil as they leave. Very nice. Um, I think this is... What's this? Another unit... Oh, no, this is just another one of these swords breaking. We have cavalry over here joining. Um, we have shock infantry here. Yeah, see, this is what the concern is. I have to put the shock infantry. 
gonna break most of my spear um, most of my sword sorry so now my elite Templars are in there I'm gonna hold the line Excellent little fight going on here. But yeah, so we're running out of ammo. I think most of my units are out of ammo now. Uh, there's two over there with barely any. So, I mean, Papal States has had the advantage of ammo left. So that is going to be huge. Um, France here is in a, in a rough spot here. We've got a Templar and Hospitaller spears just surrounding them. He's got some dismounted Chevaliers early in here now. They're pretty nasty. They could actually probably break through most of these spears. There's archers in here now, I think, as well. But this is the point. This is the sort of time that you want to be using uh, archers. Like, if you had archers left, look at the blobs up here. Oh, the cavalry, I think, was trying to get a nice charge, but they broke just at the right time. They were saved by breaking. Um, but, yeah, so... It's looking... Looking like France... I mean, this unit here is wavering. This unit is losing decisively so if they can break through this side then I guess that's a sort of a win um, but I mean it looks like the well the Antioch's general who's like supposed to, supposed to be a, a uh, like a Templar leader is uh, going round but this is huge as well the shock infantry is now losing decisively against my Templars um but, I mean, they have halberds in here now, so they are also going to start pushing back my my Templars with their long pointy, long pointy pikes. Well, they're not even pikes, halberds. I've also got archers in here, I think. I'm just, I'm just piling bodies in. We have, they've also fired, they're also firing uh, archers into the, my blobs, so they have got arch support, so... Yeah, we'll have to see what happens. The Templars are slowly getting whittled down. But they've finally taken the gate. As you can see here, they have finally taken this gate. It only took them, like, all this cavalry here to, to get through. And the cavalry's now dying. Um, but So the general is going to do a little sneaky charge in. I'm focusing down his archers up here as well, but the general is about to do a sneaky charge in, try and get these archers. Not a bad idea. I'm getting my general ready just to charge into the side when he does it, and I've got a unit of dismounted hospitalers coming up to try and save the day. And that was a volley straight into the cavalry there. Not a bad volley. Then they're charging in, and then my general is fighting his general. And I think I will possibly have a chance of winning this. Acres infantry support, arch support, also, just because the general is so beaten up. Like, even if there wasn't all those other factors, I think I would have probably won this fight just because he's already pretty bloodied up from fighting Hospitaler Knights. But at this point, I think... Uh, I think the Prince of Antioch... No, he's still alive. I think the Prince of Antioch does die at some moment, about now. Um, so that's actually kind of huge because now Antioch could break at any moment. Um, but yeah, it could happen anything. I mean, we've retaken the gates. Um, I think that happened mainly because we just have more units here. There you go, the Allied General is dead. So the Antioch, I think he just charged in and like these guys counter charged, these gendarmes and these uh, shock infantry. But then also uh, the Papal States General just died there and then. So it kind of evens out again. So both armies have lost the general. And uh, there's a chain route for the Papal States. And it is a Pyrrhic victory for the Templars and the... Uh, well, the Templars. Um, so we'll look at the end results. So um, let's have a look and see what is going to happen here. So we have uh, 
Well, the Templar is getting 185, probably the best unit. 109 for my cru uh, Crusader Marks and my Cavalry. Nothing there. My Hospitalis, only like 63 kills. 64 for my Crusader Sergeant, my General getting 13. So I did okay, but not like amazing. Um, and then Matthew 20, who was playing as the Principality of Antioch, getting 111 kills with his Templar Sergeants. All the others not doing exceptionally well. His uh, Dismounted Crusader Knights getting 127, and his uh, Hospital Sergeant getting 135. His General getting 218 from all those. I think he was doing cycle charges into the side of that big blob um, at the very end, so he did very well there. And his Cavalry actually did pretty awful as well, especially this tier, well, this tier 2 one as well. It's so shocking. Like We spent so much money on it, and it did barely nothing. But it didn't really matter in the end. And then his uh, Crusader Marksman getting 149 and 143, so that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, so because the Temple of Orleans is pretty battered, they are going to meet up with the Temple of Paris, reform and march on Paris itself um, to make the French king answer for his crimes attacking the holiest of orders and also the Pope because the Pope has sent an army against them. He is also uh, very much responsible for all of this and we'll have to have him deposed and... Uh, well, maybe not killed, but certainly exiled or put imprisoned. And uh, a true uh, temple, Templar-loving Pope put in place. But anyway, let's talk about the Pope himself. Uh, well, not the Pope himself, but the Pope's army. Um, so, the General only getting 42 kills, not that great. Um, his Shock Infantry only getting 86 kills, which I thought they'd get a lot more. <laughs> in fairness, I thought they were going to get a lot more. 84 for the... Uh, Halberdiers, they probably could have got a lot more, but they came in right at the end and they uh, started to die. Um, his archers getting 98, which is an awful. His capital getting 199, which is exceptionally good. His uh, uh, like main infantry, his men at arms getting like 92, and his cavalry getting 64, which is not awful. But most of their kills were probably from the cavalry outside. So that was a uh, so well played to Aiden. They had uh, Killian, who was playing as uh, the Kingdom of France, getting. 137 with his French Chevaliers, not bad at all. Um, his Sergeant's getting 82, which is okay, but I was expecting him to get a bit more. His uh, Piatons uh, Levs, like, not even 10 kills between them, which is kind of funny. Um, also kind of awful um, for them. Sergeant's at Arms getting 86, and his other Sergeant at Arms High getting 75. So the early one actually get more than the high. It's kind of surprising. And his Arch is uh, 135. His... Uh, Arbor, Arbalest are getting 202 and then his cavalry only getting like 30 40 kills and his catapult getting 92 so there you go if you uh, enjoyed that battle uh, legionnaires please do leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and leave a comment um, about well what you think is going to happen in the next part do you think uh, France is going to be able to crush this Templar um, well, it's not even rebellion they, they are sort of in rebellion now because they have been um, attacked Almost, they they feel like it's in their very much in their right to uh, attack the French crown. Now they have been attacked once by mercenaries, and now once by the French crown, him, uh, the French king himself. Um, though he's not actually come to the battlefield yet, he's just sending generals. We can't unfortunately use uh, French uh, just general bodyguards. They have to use a king. But yeah, if you uh, enjoyed. Like I said, please do support this mini-series. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys 